Hi guys, this is Caroline, and today we're going to talk about one of the most important pages of our website. I'm talking about the homepage. Your homepage needs to make a very clear statement about who you are, where you are, and what services you provide. So, there are many ways to do that with Fluffins, and you have to be creative about it. So, first option. You can use the pre-made and pre-organized blocks and models that are proposed by Flowfins, or then you can select a block that was pre-designed for another purpose and then redesign it to your own statement for your homepage, or then you can use a series of flex blocks and design yourself a very, very unique homepage. So stick with me, we're going to talk about it. Welcome here on the on-page tutorial on how to create a strong homepage with Fluffins. So there we go. We need to come in this layout section and there are different sections here, how to's, templates and layouts. So we want to go to templates for our option one and we want to have a look at what Flowfim has designed or suggested as an example for our home page. So you have home page type A, type B, type C. So if you want to have a quick view of what this design looks like, then you come here and have a little look here. Home B and this is my model number A, so I will select this one. And once I have selected it, I come here and click on Apply Template. Okay, once I have done this, it will take me automatically here in the layout section of this layout block. And you will find here every single block that is part of this suggested model of page. So there we go. Um, once I have those in place, they are numbered. You can see all of them are flex blocks apart from the footer and the header. Um, so you can move them around as you please. And then once they're in place, you can come here, click here, stay on the builder page, open your builder and say, okay, this is block one of my home page. And I want my very clear information about who I am here, about where I am located, and about the services I provide. And then you can just insert your images here and then you save. Okay, the second option we have to create a very strong homepage is to come back to the templates and have a look at everything that is suggested or the other models. You just don't have a look at what they were designed for initially. And you can say, hmm, yeah. I like this, this is an about page, or here, investment, mm, I'm liking the look of this. Yeah, okay, so I will, for the purpose of this video, choose to select investment A, apply template, and I will redesign this selection of blocks into my own homepage. And I will start right here by opening the builder and by saying, this is block one of my homepage. 
and I will play with the other elements as I wish. Once I have redesigned this and inserted all the elements, I will save it. I will come out and I will do the same with every single box here. Okay, so I have chosen to play with the investment page and make it my own page. Uh, I have finished designing this first block here and I will call it block one homepage. The reason I'm doing this is because later on when building my website, I want to be able to export this block and use it as I wish. So I'd rather give him a name uh, that makes sense. Okay, moving on to my third option, and I'm coming right here at a pricing column, which is not appropriate uh, for me on the home page. So this is identified as a flex block. So I will open this, and I'm not really taking you know this into account. I'm opening the builder, and as a third option on how to be creating your own home page, you come here on this block link. And this is where, when you purchase a flex theme, you will find all the pre-designed flex blocks available with your theme. So here you have holes, you have covers. I'm not looking for a cover. I'm more looking here on my second block. I'm looking for something with an image and a title and some text. So what am I going to choose? Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna apply block. And I'm gonna say here, this is block two. Of my home page. At this point, I am making a clear statement about my vision. Oh, and then I can play along with the rest of the elements. And once I'm done, I'm saving my block. And I do the same for every single block until my home page is done. Hey guys, so let's have a look at my own layout for my homepage. Um, and so here is my block one. I have chosen for the English version of my site not to have a slideshow on the on this version. Um, so we'll see later about that. This is my vision block, followed by the services I provide followed by client experience, social proof, CTA, and footer. Every single one of those elements needs to be on your homepage to have a very clear statement, invite um, the client to act and navigate through your website. Uh, he needs to be informed about the services you provide and he needs to know that other clients have already experienced the services that you provide. So let's have a look at the page itself. So there we are. As I said, I've chosen not to have a slideshow. And on this first block, I am making it very clear about who I am what I'm doing, where I am located, and a little bit about my vision here. These elements, they need to appear very, very, very fast on your homepage. So I would really, really urge you to put them on your first block. My second block is an echo to the message here. And at this point, 
I want the client to feel either he likes what I'm doing or however he doesn't and he's going to leave my website and that's fine by me, but the message is clear. So this is my vision. Here is about the services I do provide. And so they link to the different pages I represent. Client experience. Um, pages dedicated to only client experience, I think, are over. You need to spread your client experiences throughout the whole of your website. So when somebody is visiting, it doesn't matter which page of your website they arrive on, they will also share and experience a little bit of what others have experienced. So this is very important and I have made it very easy because this experience block is the same on all my pages. And this is the great thing about FlexFilm and FlexBlocks is that I just have to export and import this block and just change the text. And that's it. Here are my social proof. Obviously, I'm a photographer. I want to know that my work has been acknowledged and I want to share it on my homepage. Um, a call to action. So let's get in touch. If you have liked everything that you have seen up there, then it's the moment that we, are, we have to talk together. And my footer with my uh, Flow Social plugin and then back to top. So that's it. That's all about how to create a very strong homepage with Flow Themes. I, lo I hope that you liked this tutorial and more to follow soon. Bye-bye.